Hey, what's up, y'all? Now, y'all know I just did a video um, yesterday, and it was called, uh, Whose Brother Is This? Because I found a statement in the police reports that, that, that fucked with me, and it was about a Crown Plaza hotel employee. It was this statement right here. And in this statement, you know, this motherfucker talk about he works in housekeeping. Um, and most importantly, shit, this nigga didn't even didn't want to speak in front of his fucking supervisor. That's what stood out the most to me. You know what I mean? And then not only that, this motherfucker was there the 8th, the 9th, and the 10th. Okay? Now, not only did the police question this nigga, they was asking him about his brother. And I found that odd. I'm like, damn, you work here. Why the fuck would they be asking you about your brother? You know what I mean? And then not only did they ask him about his brother, they asked him if, if his brother ever ever dated Kanika. And it's like, damn, like, why would they be asking you that? You know, and I, and I told y'all in the last video, like, shit, it sounded like they, they already knew the answers to those questions. You know what I mean? And they was just trying to see if a nigga was going, you know, was, was going to confirm some shit. And then at the bottom of this, I got his work schedule. So remember this shit. On Friday and Saturday, he worked from 9. He, he was scheduled from 9 to 5. That was his schedule. So um, when I put out that video, everybody was coming to me like, oh, I think that's dude that that one girl interviewed. And I remembered that shit. So I went and found the video for y'all. Now, I didn't try, chopped and screwed this motherfucker because, you know, I got some shit to say. You know, I got some shit to say. But if you want to see the whole thing, go to... um. Lovely the Great. She got the whole whole thing. No interruptions. You know what I'm saying? But here go this video right here, y'all. Pay attention. But isn't there a button on this? So wait a minute, nigga. I mean, did y'all hear what he just said? He said that she was too drunk. She wouldn't have been able to get the fuck out the freezer. And then he was like, she was more than drunk. Um, then he started talking about a pill. Like, you know, don't nobody know what was in that pill. He was like, shit. But the detectives and, you know, they came to me talking about that shit. So, I mean, damn nigga, did you sell her the pills? Like, did you get rid of pills? Why the fuck did they come to you? Like, that, that shit confused the hell out of me, man. So, yeah, okay, let's let's see what else this nigga got to say. So, who slipped that in her drink and why? That nigga doing a lot of talking, ain't he? he? He trying to get him some. He ain't fooling no damn body. That's why he running his damn mouth like that. And that girl soaking that shit up. You know what I mean? Niggas, y'all, y'all, some of y'all, y'all need to do better. But anyway, did y'all hear what he just said? First off, I thought I, he, at the beginning he said something about no snitch. Like, we need somebody to blow this motherfucking uh, audio up. Because I, I really, I want to hear everything. Because at some parts it sounds like he's 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 jumbled. But you got to really pay attention. I put on my headphones. But um, he said that the friends took her phone. He was like, it was the friends. He was like, the friends took her phone. This nigga is, is talking like he know a whole lot of shit. That's all I'm saying, y'all. So let, let's, let's see what else he got to say. Oh, that's the shit that was pissing me off. 
because that social media shit, it clogged everybody in the uh, they think, oh, this what happened, this what happened. Nah, that ain't what the fuck happens. Well damn. Like well nigga, what happened then? He said that shit as a matter of fact, didn't he? He, you know, he came at the shit. Nah, that ain't what the fuck happened. Like, well, then shit, nigga, tell us what happened. So motherfuckers can get some sleep around this motherfucker. You know. You know, dude, dude, dude talking a lot. But, yeah, let, let's, let's see what else this nigga had to say. Y'all heard him. He said he, he the only black motherfucker there. Now, this nigga could be exaggerating or shit, he might be telling the truth because we, we heard what, what type of place Rosemont was. You know what I mean? Shit, he might be telling the truth. And then if he telling the truth, then shit, nigga, I mean, did you know anybody at the party? I mean, I, I don't know. Because, I mean, motherfuckers was already questioning why they went so far out to even go to a party. You understand what I mean? So, I, yeah, I don't know. But let's, let's listen to the rest of it, y'all. She was on that nigga ass, wasn't she? I mean, she was, she was coming with them motherfucking questions. I would have too. I ain't even mad at her. I would have too. But did you hear what he said on that last part? When he was like, ain't nobody, wouldn't nobody jeopardize their motherfucking job? Like, nigga, didn't, no, didn't nobody even say nothing about that. If y'all listen to that shit again, shit they, shit, they was talking about lip gloss. Where the fuck did that come from? Who who would jeopardize their motherfucking job, nigga? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Let, let's see what else this nigga got to say. Because, like, they took so long to, like, release videos. Yeah, because they didn't have enough evidence. What it was, what I thought. Having enough evidence, though. Security cameras, it's so, it's so easy to bring their minds there. Think about that. We're not going to release no videos, but we got to investigate this. We got to see what she got. We got to rewind all the way back to see who the friends were. Shit, they thought I was going to. So you were you were working that night? Oh, she died. She died around one or twelve. No, no, she, they had security uh, with her walking at three. With a morning. Yeah. But she, she died at four. She, See, she, you don't know. That's no, it. No. Whatever time she died, that's when she died. Well, I had a hell no. Well, I had a day that they checked in. Yeah, but she wasn't here yet. They said she came around nighttime. Okay, so let let's go back over what this nigga just said. First, he, he said, they thought 
that he was with her. And I'm like, why the fuck would they think that? Who told them that? And I told y'all in this statement right here, what did I say? I said it sounded like a motherfucker had already told the police, like, oh, yeah, so-and-so was here. Yeah, him and his brother. You know what I mean? Type shit. Because my thing is this. Why would they ask him that? Or why, why would they think he, he was with her? Okay, so that's the first thing. So then, did you hear this motherfucker when he say, um, he was like, yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. He said, yeah, I was working, um, but I got off at 530. Now, and I told y'all, look at, look at this nigga's schedule. Whoever this is in this witness statement, look at the schedule. On Friday and Saturday, the motherfuckers were scheduled until 5 o'clock. I mean, shit, it ain't no stretch to think this nigga work past his time. People work over, you know, over their scheduled hours all the time. So, okay, so then that and this nigga say, <clears throat> excuse me, that Kanika died about 1, one or 12 o'clock. Like, damn, nigga, like, how you know that? And then when the girl came back, the girl like, well, well how can that be? Because um, they showed us video of her walking around at 3 o'clock. Did y'all hear what he said? His response was, well, she died, she died at 4. And I'm like, damn. And, and I'm going to tell y'all what that made me feel like. Like, you know what I mean? That, I mean, he, it, it kind of felt like he was saying that as, as, as if to say, whatever happened to her, it only took an hour. So if y'all saw if y'all saw her at three, then she was dead at four. You understand what I mean? That's how that felt to me. I don't know if I'm taking that shit the wrong way or not, but I mean, this nigga right here suspect as hell, y'all. You know what I mean? Like this this guy working right here, and out of all the motherfuckers she could have interviewed or started talking to in this motherfucking hotel, she started talking to this nigga. This nigga right here. Let's see what else he got to say. Did y'all hear him just tell her that he would roll her up in that carpet? That fucked me up. That he would roll her up in that carpet. And then when she was like, damn, you gonna roll me up in the carpet? He was like, nah, you too thick for that. Like, I told y'all that nigga was trying to get on. That's why he was running his mouth the way he was. But this nigga suspect as hell. And I wonder if, if he's the nigga in this motherfucking statement. You know, I was looking at the comments and shit. There's a lot of people that think he he's that nigga right here. That, that that's in this motherfucking statement and i know it was it was a lot of shit that um we couldn't hear where it sounded like he 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 mumbled jumbled and shit but um what i did was was took some clips of the girl basically um telling us you know summarizing what the fuck he was saying so i want y'all to listen to her real quick Down there, folks. I was trying to see some shit. He was down there, folks. 
And I turned around, and he was like, you look scared as hell. I said, yeah, you can't be walking behind me like that after what happened in this hotel. And he literally been following me since, trying to tell me, like, all this stuff. And the stuff that he's saying doesn't even make sense. He's like, oh, she died at 12. She never died at 12 if there was security footage of her walking at 3.30. I want to know who this nigga is. I really do, y'all. And and I, I got a feeling that this, this is the guy in the statement. I mean, so this is what we're going to do right now. In the comments, if, if you think this the guy in the statement, put yes. If you think it's not the guy in the statement, hit no. Let's, let's, let's see where everybody at with this shit, man.